morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I'm the Emperor of the Universe. Really quick. Ah, energy. Energy exchange. People are dark and their energy is dark. And a lot of times when they're really powerful, they, they can, you know, it's like one of those things where I've talked about in the past when you're an empath and somebody comes up to you and next thing you know, they're just, you know, just dumping all the garbage on you. And they, and like an hour later, you listen to all this crap and they walk away skipping and laughing and joy and you're just stuck feeling like crap and you have to like detox for days. That's an energy vampire. And I have a new role, by the way. No touching. No touchy. That's my new role. Nobody can touch me. Don't, don't try to touch me. If somebody tries to touch me, I'm going to punch them in the face. I don't care who it is. I'm just going to, I mean, look, my grandkids, you know, my kids, my, you know, my babies, that's, family's different. My parents, I'll give them a hug. But in general, if somebody comes up to me and just wants to touch me, oh, I'm going to punch them in the face. Because, yeah, there's energy vampires, and, and if they get, if they can touch you, that's even worse. It's, a, it's an, one thing to be in their general energy and have to absorb that. But to actually touch somebody is, is that's why sex is so important. That's why I tell people abstinence, you know, celibacy. So that way you don't have to worry about that kind of draining of the energy and, you know, one-sided, you know, it's, it's tragic. That's why you wait for your emperor or empress. I would preach that all day long. And I've been taking a break from these kind of videos because, of course, they're all going to be blocked. You know, only people seeing this stuff is the, the YouTube team monitoring my thing or CIA or whoever the hell. Who knows, man? I don't know. I, at this point, I could give a shit. I'm going to just keep doing my beautiful art. I'm going to keep telling you to love yourself. I'm going to tell you to keep doing that Emperor Empress um, mantra in the mirror. Tell yourself you're awesome and you're deserving of love and you're, you rock it. You're an emperor. You're the empress. You have to act like an emperor. Empress. You have to be good. You have to think positively. You have to want the best for everybody. You have to be a warrior for the light. You have to just... Yeah, you have to glow, you have to smile, you have to laugh, you have to listen to good music and, uh, you know, good music. 70s, 80s, it doesn't matter what it is, just listen to it. You'll love it. So, I'm beginning to ramble. But, you know, at this point, I, I've had to be, I, I, I'm getting tired of being warned about the fucking energy vampires. I know, I've dealt with this, you know, toxic crap for two years, my whole life, right? But the last two years, it's ramped, I, you know, intensified big time. I mean, I mean, these guys... The bad guys have just went full retard, and that's all I can say. And so it forced the world to just react. And it bumped me out of my shell. I mean, you know, whatever. But forced me to step up and do some work, and I did. And I have been, and there's 800 videos to prove it. So this, you know, this is just an update to my journey spiritually and my in the warfare, the battlefront. And a lot of people, it's interesting because, like I said, a lot of people have been in, the, when this lockdown happened, you have your apartment, you know, you have your little studio or your mansion or wherever you have. And I had my vehicle and I was running. So I was interacting with people constantly. I wasn't stuck in my house, just, you know, go to the grocery store and come back to the grocery store. I was out in the world dealing with some crazy shit. Straight up. And it's been a wild fucking ride. And God in the universe has said, we're going to send you, bam. You're going, dog. And I'm like, okay, I'm going. Well, look, when you get... I was fortunate to get some money when I got it. Which, I got Dharma. She's awesome. You know what I mean? And I was able to keep, you know, you know, f pumping up the art. My art's so awesome. I'm excited about it. I've just posted a couple that <sighs> nobody's going to see. Anyway. I digress. I I'm fighting the battle. I'm in it. You know, it's it hurts. I get hurt. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I just got some beautiful young lady cursed me because she got pissed. I don't know. They, they're, it's because they're angry. They're already pissed off. And you got these people with, like I say, everybody is a Jedi. Everybody has the ability to be a Jedi. You're all Padawan, you know. But some people are just retarded and they just don't understand their power and they just, just muck it up and they just do naughty shit. It's kind of, if you just want to go get laid and you go use your power to go, you know, woo girls and shit like that, you, you know, you're a douchebag. And that's not how it's supposed to work. Because it, it's just not. That's not a positive and exchange of energy. You want two people to exchange honestly, too. Truth is a very awesome, you know. I'll get in the truth. We're talking this 
<clears throat> this, like I said, this is an update. I'm still working on the manuscript or the blueprint for the light worker in the battlefield. Call it like guerrilla tactics or something. Just, uh, you know, the basics. Just break it down to where people can understand. You know, without, like I say, without bringing any kind of book or foundation into this. Just talking about self-love. You know, getting into your energy. Don't let people mess you around with toxic bullshit. Don't let the ego tell you what to do. The ego will never die, but you can control that stuff. You know what I mean? You, you, we all have the light and dark, the yin and the yang, the balance. So you got to work on that. These are all things I've had to deal with. The toxic part, though, was the worst. Dealing with these people that were just, and they're pissed. A lot of them are just angry or mentally ill. And they're just like, I don't know what kind of drugs they put all these people on. Which is why I just only do medical marijuana. And that's just, that's it. And that's even something you got to be careful with. You just got to, you know, I don't drive with it and all that crap. But it's if, at the point, if you got to have something to, to ease the pain, like my shoulder and all my fun stuff, then yeah. And to calm the, to calm the nerves and what, whatnot. But, anyway. but yeah, these, these poor souls, man, I've I had to deal with them. And, I, and it's interesting. To, to, I was like, because I kept saying, why were these people, I was just attracted, I was like, everywhere I would go, at the, at the beginning of my journey, it wasn't so bad, because a lot, of, a lot of it was just nobody was there, everybody was just freaked out, and I was just running, just, <laughs> I was just running hard, just hitting like campgrounds, and, you know, keeping to myself, and, and then, but once you get on the boondocking, and you're, you're not paying for stuff, and you get, you know, a lot of the poorer people that are out there, they're mentally ill, and, like when I was at Newport, there's just like, there's always going to be people running around because it's like they were really kind about that space, you know, letting people live there in, in their vehicles. And, but some people are just like, oh my God, you can tell they're just mentally ill. It's just like, they're just pissed off. They just, and I can feel that energy. Like, I don't, I remember I was like, I'd start getting pissed. I'm like, why am I getting pissed? I'm not an angry person. And then you, I realize it's their energy I'm just picking up on. It's like, son of a bitch. See, like, this is a blessing. I'm in the middle of the desert. So I'm not surrounded by people. There's some toxic people in the area. I mean, but there's the most, okay, let's talk about it. Low vibration. This might be a long video. There's low vibration and high vibration. High vibration is when you always think positively. You're always in a good mood. You're trying, you're striving. You want the best for yourself and others. That kind of, it's, and the, the low vibration is you're just, you wake up pissed you're just, you have to go to work, you have to do this. It's just, it's just a not a happy experience. And there's always, you know, alcohol is a biggie. Just, you know, trying to numb up the bullshit with alcohol, which I can't, I don't do. And it's just poison. And I won't get into alcohol too much at this point, but I, let's just say that it's what, 2012? Yeah, I haven't drank for like 10 years or, or so. I haven't, yeah, just don't miss it. Like, like I said, the thing about marijuana is there's no hangover and you don't OD. You can die from alcohol poisoning. You can't die from weed. <laughs> you can get munchies and pass out on the couch with, you know, with Cheetos all over your face, but you know, you're in the, some ice cream melting all over. But the point is, you're not going to hurt yourself that bad. I mean, there's allergic reaction. That's another thing I've talked about. But this video is just going to kind of encompass some stuff, right? We got, we got to talk about the energy. We got to talk about the people running around. You know, I'm out here building like art installations. Like I just built one that that says um, "Play Heels." It's a little sign, and then it has like a abstract rose. I just yeah, I just made out of material I just found in the desert. And the other side said, you know, I heart fun. I'm just you know, if I'm pissing people off because they're just like in the shitty mood and they see that, I'm like fucking asshole. You know, I don't care. I've had people stop and take pictures. I actually sold a painting couple came in here was just checking it out and going oh my god this is so cool Spanish couple and I was talking to him in Spanish and we were like yeah and the guy, the guy was like oh I want to buy it they bought the um the desert rider it was really beautiful <clears throat> anyway so yeah I mean so it's it's just the interactions it's weird it's different and California's been getting rain so it's like stormy and it's, I'm here's the thing as a shaman you're like one foot in this world one foot in the other and it, it, you forget that there's the mystic. You forget that there's a spiritual. Because you're so, you get caught up in the mundane. Like, you know, your job. You got to go to work. You got to go, you're a cook or, you know, whatever. You got to do your job. And you, you just get caught up on the bills and all that bullshit that you forget that there's the spiritual aspect of your life. And you don't see it. You, you know, you might get shit bumping in the night or a glass will fall off a table. And you start realizing that you're not alone. But 
<clears throat> but you know what I mean? It's like, but you have to understand that that's, I've been blessed to be able to do this. Just tune it all out and tap in and just know what I'm supposed to be doing and helping. And like I said, 800 videos, man, this is crazy. I, I was just starting just like, I'm still alive. Kobe hasn't got me yet. Fucking just, yeah, they scared the shit out of everybody. We'll talk more about that. <clears throat> anyway, this is just me, you know, doing my thing. I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful day. And no touchy. No touchy. Get a punch in the face. I'm just saying. I'm Not you. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? I'm, that's my rule. My rule now is no touchy. We do money exchange. I'm going to be like, come on, I'm serious when I sell my art. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I just think about this. Like, man. I, I work too hard for my energy to be just zapped by some, you know, toxic vampires. So watch them out there. And just be careful. Um, salt baths are important. And I burn juniper. I love juniper. But you can also do sage or cedar. That's a good protection. Smoke, whatever. And yeah, and love yourself. And yeah, that's it. Love yourself and forgive yourself. And that's the key, baby. I'm going to let you go. I love you. God loves you. The universe is coming. So have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.